Hello there. Are you looking for a new big bike? Well, maybe I can help you with that, and by the way, welcome to my channel. Let's start, shall we? There is a new bike that was just launched this month. Kawasaki Philippines just launched the 2022 Z900 here in the country. Yes, this bike has been in the market since 2017, and it replaces the Z800. Kawasaki Philippines is offering the Z900 as standard variant for now. And currently it is only available in lime green color. The same color as you see in your screen right now. Let's go into more details as I tour you on the specification and installment plan of this beautiful beast. The Z900 has a lot to offer in terms of technology and seems to be dated so to speak. For the technology, first on the list is the assist and slipper clutch. Based on racing technology, the assist and slipper clutch acts as both a back torque limiter and a self-servo mechanism that enables a lighter clutch lever to pull. When excessive engine braking occurs, as a result of quick downshifts, or an accidental downshift, the slipper cam comes into play, forcing the clutch hub and operating plate apart. This relieves pressure on the clutch plates to reduce back torque and helps prevent the rear tire from hopping and skidding. Second technology being offered on this bike is the dual throttle valves, which offer increased power and greater ease of use care of a second set of ECU controlled throttle valves. Late model sport bikes often use large bore throttle bodies to generate high levels of power. However, with large diameter throttles, when a rider suddenly opens the throttle, the unrestricted torque response can be strong. Dual throttle valve technology was designed to tame engine response while contributing to performance. On models with dual throttle valves, there are two throttle valves per cylinder, in addition to the main valves, which are physically linked to the throttle grip and controlled by the rider, a second set of valves, opened and closed by the ECU, precisely regulates intake airflow to ensure a natural, linear response. With the air passing through the throttle bodies becoming smoother, combustion efficiency is improved and power is increased. Another technology being offered on this bike is the anti-lock brake system, it ensures stable braking performance by preventing wheel lock during braking. Another technology being offered on this bike is the 3 mode KTRC, Kawasaki Traction Control, Kawasaki's most advanced traction control system, offers a selection of modes to suit a variety of riding situations, from sport riding to touring. Modes 1 and 2 maintain optimum traction during cornering. Mode 3 is ideal when riding in slippery conditions or in the wet surface. Kawasaki also gifted the Z900 with the technology of what they call it power modes. Power mode selection allows engine power delivery to be changed to suit the riding situation. Models equipped with multiple power modes offer riders an easily selectable choice of engine power delivery to suit riding conditions or preference. In addition to full power mode, power mode 1 is for low power and power mode 2 between middle to low power, in which maximum power is limited and throttle response is milder are provided. Another technology given to this bike is the smartphone connectivity. Clever technology enables riders to connect to their motorcycle wirelessly. Using the smartphone application Rideology the app, several instrument functions can be accessed, contributing to an enhanced motorcycling experience. Vehicle information, such as the odometer, fuel gauge, maintenance schedule, and other stuff, can be viewed on the smartphone. Riding logs, varies by model, but may include GPS route, gear position, RPM, and other information, can be viewed on the smartphone. When connected, telephone, call, mail, notices are displayed on the instrument panel. Riders can also make changes to their motorcycle's instrument display settings, preferred units, clock, and date setting, and other stuff, via the smartphone. And on certain models, it is even possible to check and adjust vehicle settings, such as rider mode, electronic rider support features, 
and payload settings, using the smartphone. Kawasaki also provided the bike with economical riding indicator. The economical riding indicator is a mark appearing on the instrument panel to indicate favorable fuel consumption, encouraging fuel efficient riding. Last but not the least is the horizontal backlink rear suspension. Horizontal backlink rear suspension arranges its shock unit horizontally, greatly contributing to efficient use of space and mass centralization. But wait there's more. We haven't looked yet to some of the particulars of the Z900. Let me indulge you on the details of this bike. In the engine department, Z900 has 948 cubic centimeters. Liquid cooled. 4 stroke, inline 4. DOHC, fuel injected engine. It also has 73.4 bore by 56.0 mm of stroke. Compression ratio is 11.8 is to 1. And most of all, the Z900 has 123.64 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 98.6 newton meters of torque at 7,700 rpm. For the gearbox, it has six gear manual transmission with assist and slipper clutch. And with great power, you definitely need superb braking power to make this beast into halt. In the braking department, the front stopping power comprise of dual 300 mm pedal style discs with four piston calipers with anti-lock brake system. And at your rear, it has single 250 mm pedal style disc with single piston caliper with anti-lock brake system. All lighting system is LED and it also has daylight running lights also LED. For your suspension, at the front, it has 41 mm inverted fork. Preload and dumping adjustable with 4.7 inches of travel. At the rear, it has horizontal backlink suspension, stepless rebound damping and adjustable spring preload, with 5.5 inches of travel. Other details like, seat height is 31.5 inches, the curb weight is 212 kilograms, oil capacity is around at 4 liters, Coolant capacity is around at 2.4 liters. And there you go. The Kawasaki Z900 2022 standard can be yours at 505,000 Philippine Peso. Before we proceed, let me introduce to you my colleague Vian for the installment plans. Hello there guys. Hope you are very excited on the latest offering from Kawasaki Philippines. As we promised, here is the installment plan I got from Kawasaki Emus Cavita for the Z900. It has 1 year plan, 2 year plan, and 3 year plan for installment basis. Kawasaki Emus branch offers 1 year comprehensive insurance and 3 years LTO registration. You may visit their branch in Imus Cavita and have your inquiries there. You can also visit any of your nearest Kawasaki dealers to inquire. Total cash out may vary for different dealers. Please inspect the unit first before committing on buying. I strongly suggest that you visit and take a look personally of the unit that you wanted to buy. Appreciate for taking the time on our channel. In behalf of the team, I thank you and hope you have a great day ahead. Hope you get your units soon. Ride safe and peace out. Bye.